Hello. I was sitting here with a thought and I was just contemplating. I was like, man, all the stuff going on in my life right now. Sometimes I wish if I knew now, knew then what I know now, I say sometimes I wish I was just did something totally different. And maybe grew up on a ranch or something. Riding horses or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, but then, but from an early child, I was called. And what I mean by that is, yeah, like I told the story before, I'm a, I was in a, at a young young age, I was at home with my grandmother and 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 I and, and I heard some voices call a voice called me, and I, I called out to my grandmother a couple of times. Said, "Mama, you called me?" Because I called her mama. She raised me. I said, "Boy, I ain't called you." Mama, you called me. Boy, I ain't called you. Better stop answering when people are calling you. <laughs> so, my understanding of that is that's the voice of that little calling when he call you. So. I always believed in the Most High, and I and I, I remember him expressing to me that he was my father, because my real dad had passed away at an early age. My mother passed away at an early age, and I remember the Great Elo telling me he was my father. And I remember one time praying to this image of Caesar Borgia on the wall that was on my aunt's wall and I used to always get up because we lived, I slept, we were in the same room, her and her daughter, you know, growing up and I was in my bed over there. So we shared the room and I used to always get up, you know, when she's gone and I would pray to Caesar Borgia, you know, the image that they call Jesus. And I remember one day I heard a voice tell me, Get up off your knees. That's not me. And I was a young kid, young child, young young child at that time. I wasn't a kid, a young child at that time. And I never prayed to that image again. Even though I didn't know that I was Hebrew, or Israelite, I didn't know any of those things back then. So, the thought I want to share was, if I, if he calls you. In the, regardless of what age he calls you and whatever level he allows you to know him you can't know him at that level without knowing evil at the, as the, at the equal level so as you know him you're going to know his adversary because his adversary is his enemy And because you are his loved one, his child, now you are now the enemy's enemy. And the enemy is your enemy. Even though you don't set out to have enemy because in my case I love. I don't set out to have enemies but the enemy is your enemy because your father is the great I love. But be not discouraged and do not fear because even the enemy knows that Elo is the power and the glory forever. And that is my thought to share with you. <laughs> okay. Do you believe? Do you know that he exists? He said those who come to me must first believe that I exist. So if you don't know his name, don't fret, don't fear. If you know that he exists, you in the right ballpark, so to speak. Don't fear. Even though it's, this life could be uncomfortable, it could be challenging, it could be all of those things, but don't fear. Do you believe in the Great One, the Elo, the Creator of all things? Do you believe that He is the power? And he is the glory forever.
Even if you're shaking in your boots, stand and believe. Even if you just got to holler, ah, stand. Because the great one, I've heard him call me. I've heard him tell me, he is my father and I am his son. I've heard him tell me even before I knew anything about Cesar Bourget at this time in my life, but back then when I was a young child, that great one came to me and said, get up off your knees. That is not me. So how would I know these things if it wasn't the great one who told me when I had no understanding of a Cesar Bourget back then, of, of the image that I called Yahushua? The Hamashiach back then. Who was it that told me that? The enemy not going to tell me to get up off my knees. The enemy would have told me, yeah, good carry on. Good job. I tell you. The great L.O. exists. He's real. So, you know, the emotions of this flesh and the discomforts of the flesh will cause you, if you allow it to doubt, to wonder. But believe me, Israel, you're still here. Don't fear, because all things is in his hands, and his will shall be done. So, be of good cheer. Yahushua is, the Hamashiach has overcome the world. So I just want to share that thought. Until next time, Shalom.